Hello YouTube, welcome back to RPG Dawn. In this episode we're going to cover how to implement three different types of text into your game. The first method we're going to use is go to the events button and click any of the squares on your map. You should be at this screen. Under trigger, go to auto run. This means that the moment your character gets onto the map, something's going to happen. Click your black diamond, go to message and then click show text. Type your message here, and choose if you want some sort of image. Click apply, then OK. Now test your game. Make sure to always save changes. We can see that the text works. However, it keeps looping infinitely. To fix this, we're going to go back to our editing spot, click the second black diamond, click the second tab, and go to erase event. We'll apply, OK, test our game, and save. This should have fixed the problem. The text will go away once you read it once. However, every time you go back into this room, the text will reappear. To fix this problem, we're going to make a copy of the map. Right click this new map and click edit. Rename the map to something you remember. Make sure you remember it's a copy of the map. Click OK once you're ready. On this map, we're going to want to delete the auto run event we had in place. Right click on the square and delete it. Now go back to the map that your original map leads to. Right click on the spot to go back to your other map. Click on the spot which leads you back to the other map. Click on the event you already have on the list. Go to Movement and Transfer Player. Change the direct designation to your new map. Click on the spot you want and then click OK. Once you have your new event, make sure you delete the old event. Now we can test our game. The problem should now be fixed. We can also give certain items text when you click the action button on them. To do this, click on the spot you want the action to be on. Choose an image for your item. Then go to the black diamond, tab 1, and show text. Write any text you desire here. Click OK and apply. Now change the trigger to action button. Change the priority to same as characters. Apply and OK. We can now test our game. Now whenever your player talks to the item you put, they will see the message you displayed on it. The final text method we're going to discuss in this video will be player touch. You can click a spot, click the first black diamond, tab 1, message, and show text. Type in whatever phrase you want. Click OK. On the priority box, choose above characters. On the trigger box, choose player touch. On the options, click the stepping box. Now apply. We can now test the game. Whenever the player steps on this spot now, the message you typed will appear. Thank you for watching part 3 of the tutorial. Please like and subscribe to show your support. And if there's anything you would like me to make a video about, please leave a comment about it. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.